Phantasm is underrated. Feeling nostalgic for events that you've never experienced yourself. More people have a foot fetish than you would imagine. Why? Why are you doing this? Connecting with, understanding, and growing alongside other people is one of the most important and rewarding aspects of life. Oh, and this, 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 and this are boring. Yeah, that's how I would describe Fanita. Oh, mamma mia, mamma mia. Mamma mia, let me go. Spoilers? What spoilers? I don't know what a spoiler is. I did you, Becky. After nearly 10 years of quietly rebuilding and refusing to make No Game No Life Season 2 out of pure spite, the legendary anime Studio Madhouse is finally back on top. Sure, they had some decent stuff here and there, but this one... They knock that shit out of the park with this one. Good, even great anime come and go. But I'm not exaggerating at all when I say that this story is truly special. Free feet. <coughs> I mean Frieden, beyond journey's end. Sosa no Frieden. Directly translated as either Frieden at the funeral or Frieden the slave. You can call it so many different This thing is a story that's already ended. You were not there for it. But for some reason, you feel like you were with these guys every step of the way. Himmel the Hero, Heiter the Priest, Aizen the Warrior, and of course, Frieden the Wizard. You don't know these characters, yet you feel like you do. The best way that my fanboy comic dictated ethically lobotomized Wee Brain can describe it is that the first episode feels like the Shire from The Lord of the Rings. Which, if you haven't seen that yet, I it feels comforting and bittersweet. Sadly, their journey is already over. But you know, every new beginning comes from some other beginnings and yeah. Frieden is an elf, which basically makes her a Viltrumite from the hit American anime. Frieden's concept of time and the importance of relationships is that of an autistic immortal jellyfish traveling at the speed of light. Science joke! Frieden doesn't really think much of her party's 10 year quest to defeat the Demon King. <laughs> Initially, but then one 10 second montage and 50 in anime years later, Himmel the hero dies of exhaustion because Frieden forced him to walk for a week straight at the sprightly age of 76. Frieden cries for the first time ever at the funeral. Get it? It's the title of the show. And finally realizes that she's been missing something her entire life. Humanoid connection. This is where the story actually begins. Frieden, realizing the error of her autistic ways, should get to know people better. See y'all in 10 years. Sets out on a journey to better understand and communicate with others. She also retraces the steps of the hero's party in order to figure out just what that original adventure means to her. Some people think that the story is about regret and redemption for the past. But I personally like to think of it more as learning to make the most of the present. It's a very calming and reflective journey. Until she picks up her apprentice mage, Fern. If I'm not a bush, I'm not no one. And the fledgling warrior named Stark. Then the title of the series becomes Frieden, Chaperone for Baby's First Adventure. Which is probably why all the kids with the Goku and Luffy profile pictures think that Frieden is boring. Despite the animation looking like Madhouse ritualistically sacrificed the entirety of Studio Mappa's overworked staff to achieve it. It's funny because Mappa abuses their animators. And I mean shit. The art in this show is so simple, yet breathtakingly beautiful. Despite this eye inducing artistry, the fights in Frieden, up to episode 13, lack any real sense of danger. Which is the only valid argument that the But can he beat Goku? babies have ever had. You never really feel like the good guys could possibly lose. Up to episode 13. Frieden herself is OP as fuck. Absolutely obliterates everybody. Shows no emotion, nor mercy. It's kinda like One Punch Man. If Saitama were an immortal lolly elf with people obsessing over his feet. Fern is basically fleet in light. Another overpowered, emotionally challenged mage with no sense of danger. Eh, she'll be fine. She was not fine. Stark's fights are actually compelling. He is so afraid of fighting that he visibly trembles every single time. Sometimes it's funny, and other times it's just awesome to watch someone fight the urge to run away from a situation, yet overcome that intense fear to stand up and fight. These two could lose a fight, but even if they did, Frieden would swoop in and save the day, no problem. And it's not just the lack of danger or the chill as fuck slice of life vibes that could turn those shonen boys off the series. It's also the blank expression worn by many of the characters. Namely two of the main ones. This is what's known to the Nihonjin as Moe. Yeah! 
no way. The feeling of joy, excitement, or the need to protect when confronted with something cute. These designs are kawaii. Can you tell that I have a 265 day streak on Japanese Duolingo? Learning is cool. The whole expressionless and emotionally repressed moe thing was kickstarted by none other than Ayanami Rei. Hailing from the agent cultural phenom, the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. Aside from being kawaii, the blank expressions elevates the show's dry humor. And they're easy to draw. But Frieden is not about neurodevelopmental disorders. It's not about action. It's not even about adventuring. It's about people. And elves and dwarves. But not demons. Fuck demons. Put them bitches in internment camps. Race wars, race wars, race wars. It's about watching Frieden learn to connect with and understand others. The importance of humanoid connection. How we shape and build our own personalities based on our interactions with others. It's about finding meaning in life and learning to cope with death. Frieden has the most mature outlook on religion and the afterlife out of any piece of fiction that I've ever seen. Basically, even the priests openly admit to having their doubts. But they argue that it's better and more convenient for people to get to live on in heaven after they die instead of fading into nothingness. After all, where's the harm in being hopeful? And the themes of connection are more relevant today than ever. The age of the internet along with COVID-19 has led to a general increase in loneliness to the point where the US Surgeon General has declared a loneliness epidemic. I mean, Japan is way ahead of the West on that front, but feeling lonely, not being alone, feeling lonely is as dangerous for your health as smoking half a pack of cigarettes a day. People die earlier because of loneliness. And it also just sucks. It's not fun. But if there's one thing that you can take away from Frieden, it's that socialism is a learned skill. Socializing is a learned skill. Even if you suck at it, which you do, that's okay. All you gotta do is try and you will get better. No matter how autistic, no matter how awkward you are at first. And remember, as cheesy as it is, there is no time like the present. Or, you know, maybe I'm just talking out of my ass. Brainwashed by my English teachers into overanalyzing everything. Thank you to Con Kaliskin, Luke B. Olson, Michael Crook, Ali, Lock Rocky Pebbleman, Ben, Lasagna Soda, and Fen Australia for helping to fund my addiction to crack cocaine. Helping to fund these videos. Come check out the Patreon, where I post previews and react to old private videos. And yes, I will continue to read all the names no matter how many there are. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. And I'll see you all in the next video.